Hello, uh, I wanted to show you my backup system uh, for when the power goes out. This is my emergency backup that I have been working on for a while. Um, try to keep this thing on the shady side so you can see it. It darkens down when uh, I go too much up into the window or the sliding glass doors. But I bought this. Uh, this is a Sunforce 4 panel. Uh, it's not the 60 watt that you see most of the time. It's uh, the 80 watt. Um, I wanted to be able to charge my batteries uh, up pretty quick, but it, it hasn't. I think my battery is uh, dying. It's uh, three years old and it's seen its use. Um, well what I did is I put it together and when you put it together especially inside you gotta watch out for where the wires come out of the panels uh, each panel has wire coming out and uh, cause uh, the frame that you mount it on um, It gets it gets heavy as you get the as you put the solar panels on, um, and then you'll want to flip it over from side to side to tighten everything down, especially how I did it. And then the wires get in the way, and um, you wind up uh, almost pulling them out. Uh, so what I did was I put the frame together and uh, put the pole that you would balance it on in the middle here I don't know if you can see that and then I went to the store and then I bought some curtain rods that go all the way up to the ceiling and uh, they're tension rods and that was what keeps them in place is I put one on each side of the top all the way up like that and then I ran the cords around out of sight out of mind to the back and I went to one of the thrift stores and found this little oak cabinet which uh, I thought was better than the um, veneer. I really don't care for veneer stuff or the or particle board furniture. And, uh, if you look around, you can find uh, solid wood. And uh, <clears throat> if you grew up with uh, people that ever had solid wood, um, there's just no comparison. Solid wood's much better, lasts longer, and, and repairs better, and is worth repairing. I mean, if you're going to buy tools and things like that, that you're going to maintenance instead of the cheap throwaway stuff, then um, furniture is like the same way. You get it, and you repair it. And instead of just throwing it out, because that's what that new stuff is, is you just throw it out. It's a disposable society. Um, you can see my little charge controller down there. It's uh, got the light on. It's the one, it's this light right here. And uh, right beside it, I have uh, a converter from DC to AC. I just. Uh, Take the clamps there, um, these two clamps, and put them on the battery. And uh, I was lucky to find the cabinet because then uh, the battery fits in there and there's enough room for three of them. So eventually I'll wind up getting three batteries putting in there. And uh, I didn't, I didn't get the. Um, let's see. What are those panels? 
Harbor Freight panels um, because I didn't want just the DC current lights. Um, I bought this lamp right here and uh, I was really cheap. <laughs> It's, but it's a nice looking antique lamp. It's got a metal base at the bottom, ceramic. Went and got the uh, lampshade, which has seen better days already. And put in a LED light bulb. Should be one in there. Yep, LED light bulb. And uh, so. I'll have a 60 watt equivalent light bulb for the living room here. If power goes out. And, uh, see, that way I can, after I repair the cabinet and get the handles on it and shut it up and everything and get all the batteries in there, nobody will even know that that's got batteries in it and it won't be a bad looking piece of furniture when I get done with it and it'll always be set up for emergency power and uh, with three eventually the three batteries will run this light in here the light over there which has a cord that goes down to uh, and the up plug and then the one I showed you in the kitchen and that'll be three lights that uh, will light up the apartment and then in one of the drawers let's see I have a couple of radios and a flashlight that uh, I'll have something to listen to as if you ever like had the electric go out and you wind up just sitting there I mean it's like where can I go who can I see who do I know to go see um, and then you're running around <clears throat> with your car I wonder if you're trying to find people that are there and they might their electric might be out too and they might not be there and then you're all bored and uh, don't know what to do and you just sit there and when the electricity goes out for uh, days on end and uh, nobody has anything to do and it's just really boring there's no noise <laughs> except for the traffic and uh, you know what I mean uh, and after you go through that, you think about it, well, what can you do? And uh, we had uh, the following year, um, the electric went out for a day. Uh, I opened up my apartment door and turned, my, turned on my lights. Uh, had some board games, I have some board games. and. Uh, people were walking by my apartment going well how do you have lights <laughs> and uh, you know they don't even know really who you are they just see you co uh, go in and out of the building and uh, but when the lights go out you gain friends really fast you know because they don't have lights they don't have nothing to do and it becomes a really fun experience I you you may not believe it but it's a good way to meet your neighbors and uh, but it's just too bad it has to wait till the lights go out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had a ball. Um, I have uh, uh, some Christmas lights I put up. They, they run specials on those where um, you can uh, buy those for like six, eight bucks a strand. There's 50 lights on a strand and I got those going all the way around. Oh, we are in the apartment like that, and uh, I got a little th other things up like the candles. And uh, if you're gonna put up candles up, get the ones uh, that have the mirrors on the back because uh, 
they uh, work much better. Uh, they put off a lot more light. And uh, you can see that I have bubble lights up. And uh, those will, uh, those light up pretty good. Uh, since I don't have a lot of battery power, if the lights were to go out, I'd mainly use the bubble lights and the uh, battery for the radio. And uh, I am working on other projects. Uh, someday I'll get done. I was working on a, a little stove for inside, but uh, I'm kind of shying away from the concept because uh, of how I was putting it together. So as I come up with a new idea, like I did for this, uh, to, to keep this just inside the sliding glass door, nobody can really see it. And uh, I'll be showing you update on that one. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching my video as good as it is and uh, see you on the next update